grip this isn't a question but i wanted to say thank you for the trt conversations i'm 43 i had never thought about testosterone because i don't have sexual performance issues i do have many of the other symptoms you've discussed fatigue lack of motivation difficulty concentrating worry about shit i can't control difficulty gaining weight i got my testosterone tested yesterday it was 254 starting trt next week he'll let me know how it goes i highly encourage everyone to go get a test i just used google and found an ageless men's health office close to my house they have franchises all over the county maybe you meant country uh, automatically treat you if under 400 or under 600 with free test under 11. Initial test was no cost. Treatment's two and a quarter a month. It's not worth having a fight with your primary care doctor and or insurance. Go straight to a TRT clinic. That is true. Yep. That is absolutely true. If you go to your GP, if you're dumb enough to have a GP, right, and you say you want a testosterone test, he'll draw blood, send it off, and he'll call you four or five days later and say, well, you're, you know, you're in the reference range. You're 254. Reference range goes down to 200. <laughs> so that means you're normal. Now, can you imagine the lack of understanding that a person would have to have who has gone through medical school who somehow has forgotten all of the things he learned as an undergraduate about physiology and the fact that there are no hard and fast rules about numbers and concentrations and averages that apply as a blanket rule to everyone. I mean, if he didn't learn that in undergraduate pre-med, he should have learned it in medical school, right? Now, everybody's different. Everybody's different. For some people, a 254 testosterone is, is asymptomatic, completely asymptomatic. For some people, a 900 testosterone is symptomatic. They need more than that. It varies. You can't make a rule about it. But your GP, unless he's very unusual, and maybe he is, but you go to your GP and your testosterone comes back within that range, which is an average of about 500 guys. An average. Here's the range of averages. Here's a range of tests, concentrations, in 500 different guys. This is the range. And if you're within that range, you're, you're normal. No, that's not what that means at all. And if I have to explain to you why, you're, you're not going to understand the explanation anyway. All right? You, you, if you are symptomatic, then you give testosterone to the guy all right because he'll be better with the testosterone than without it and you'll be doing your job as a medical provider but you have to understand what a reference range actually is and we've talked about this we talked about it with anthony J recently and uh, we've got guests coming up in the future to revisit this topic because i think it's very very important and we're going to keep dealing with it. Okay. So, dealing with your primary care physician about testosterone issues is not a productive way to use your time or your money. Right? Just go to a go to a TRT clinic and get it over with. All right? 